Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with another knife review for you. Today we have the Drop Ferrum Forge Mordax made by ProTech here in the United States of America. Uh, yes, I have already done a review on this, but I did a review of this top one, which is the pre-production prototype. Now I have a full production version and uh, I thought it'd be cool just to kind of compare and contrast. I, I, a lot of us uh, reviewers will review prototypes and we'll usually try and say, hey, they're going to change this, they're going to change that uh, before it goes in production. But I just thought it'd be cool to, to do an, another revisit of the Mordex because, uh, first of all, it's available right now. You can just go buy it right on the drop site. It's listed down below. Go check it out. They are just available. You don't have to wait or anything. You can just buy one and you'll get it. Eh, the shipping's not super fast, but you'll, you'll get it in a week or two. Uh, I did, I'm going to swap my product pre-production for this production one. I just haven't sent this one back off yet. Um, sorry guys, thought I did, but it, it turns out it's good because I think it would be really cool to do this, uh, this little comparison just to show you a lot of times in videos, we'll say, this is a prototype. They're going to make this change. They're going to make that change. So we're going to see what changes they did. And again, just revisit the Mordax because you can get them right now. And, and I know every time I show this, uh, people were upset that it was going to that the drop had ended and it was going to take a long time. Well, you can get them right now. So go on the drop site and get one if you want one. I'm not sure what color combos are available, but uh, at the time you see this, and maybe by the time you see this, they're all gone. But this is going to be a regular production knife that they do try and keep in stock. So keep an eye out for it. A uh, little background on it. We'll use the, the production one for this. It is a Ferrum Forge design. As you can kind of tell just by the general shape of it, it looks very... Ferrum Forgey and ProTech, great manufacturer. I've, I've raved about ProTech a whole lot. A lot of their stuff is really cool, but unfortunately a lot of it is automatics. That's kind of what they're known for. And in my state of New York, uh, I can't carry one outside the house. You're going to see one here in a moment. I do have one, but uh, I can only carry it like around my house legally. I can't really leave the house with it. Uh, but this is not an automatic. This is a ball bearing manual button lock, and it is as smooth as the day is long. Uh, aluminum handles, as you'd expect from ProTech, that's kind of what they do. Uh, deep carry pocket clip. This one is a bit more chromey than the other one, uh, than my prototype was. Uh, inset screws. Yay! I'm always going to praise inset screws on deep carry clips because uh, that's a thing that I'm really starting to really like. It didn't. I used to not really care, but the more I do these reviews, the more I really like having the inset screws. It's, uh, it's very, very nice. Uh, you're getting... Uh, CPM 20 CV. Can't argue with that. They are not inexpensive though, I will say. They do start out at $240 and uh, that's for the plain one that, that kind of looks like this. Um, I think it's 10 bucks more for this color and a bit more if you want milling and all that kind of stuff. Uh, they do make a milled out version. Um, I got a chance to hold one of those I much prefer the plain version, but that's that's up to you. We'll talk to that more. We'll talk about that more in uh, ergonomics. But uh, yeah, I I really like the design. Pretty simple, nothing crazy at all. Uh, pretty darn cool. You will see. I went with the blue this time. They are available in uh, blue, uh, completely blacked out, uh, black with a stone wash blade. I'm, I'm looking at the site now. I will admit because I can't remember everything. Or uh, green with the stone wash blade and then basically all those same sort of options but with the milled handle so you'll see that in the link when you go down below if you want to go there um again the milled handle looks cool it does make it a little bit lighter but in my hand i i just i just prefer the plain one um let's talk about a few things that change before we get into the regular review because I, th I think this is interesting if you're a super knife nerd so uh, the biggest change from the prototype to the main one, and if you look on their website, you're still going to see this pivot, but that's not that's not the pivot anymore. It's a this is a one and a half mil Allen key. It was no big deal for me, because as a as a bike mechanic, I I, I have a lot of those uh, review bicycles, so I have a lot of bicycle tools, so I have a lot of them, so it wasn't a big deal, but. Much nicer to have Torx. That's mostly what us knife people have. So now it is just a Torx on the pivot. So that's very nice. Um, other big change, obviously, is, is the, the logo because they don't call themselves Mass Drop anymore. Now it's just Drop. So they uh, they changed the logo on that. Yeah, who cares one way or the other. Um, 
Another little difference between these two, and uh, part of the reason why I wanted to uh, send it back and get another one, uh, this is a prototype, and it came to me heavily used, and I was told that. Um, it's a little, little scratched up, nothing huge, but a little scratched up on the aluminum, and it has just a tiny bit of detent rock. No big deal. It's a prototype. I'm sure they really wailed on it. It's the tiniest little thing. It doesn't really bother me. But um, uh, and also, I just really wanted the blue. I know I'm very. I'm I'm going off of Brian Spec. I apologize if people are a big fan of the Brian Spec plane as possible. But uh, I do really like this blue. It has kind of an iridescence about it. I just really like it. So uh, I swapped them out, and now I have this blue one. And I really love the knife so much that I knew it would be seen on the channel a lot. And I thought, that's eh, a good idea to have the production one being shown rather than the prototype. They agree with me. So they let me swap them out. But uh, um, other than that, really no major changes. But that pivot is, is kind of a big thing. So now you're all Torx. So if you have all your Torx tools to work in your knives, you're going to be able to take this apart and work on it. All this. I have not taken this apart yet. But um, now you'll be able to easily take it apart. Now we are going to put the... The prototype aside, it's going in a box later this very afternoon to get sent back to drop. Um, thank you again, guys, for letting me uh, let me swap stuff out. So first of all, with this knife, I think a cool thing that happened was uh, normally you get the specific like drop boxes. Uh, I didn't. This came in a Protect box with a little drop like sleeve over it, which is pretty great because the Protect boxes, if you guys have not seen these, are pretty great magnet closure and a really nice really really nice like very thick microfiber thing to hold it into a uh, little slip there which is really cool um i really love protex new packaging it's really really great and they just added their own little accent to it i like that instead of doing the whole new drop box nothing nothing wrong with the drop packaging that's nice too but it's usually a much larger box that says drop all over it this is pretty neat i do have to say i was pretty uh pretty happy to see that the old mordax i got came in the old the old the old protect just like normal box um <clears throat> but uh yeah I, I really like that nice little touch uh, just it's a it's a bit different than your normal drop stuff and again made in the usa all right, uh, let's do some uh, specs and size comparisons before we get too much farther. We have a blade length of 3.6 inches, overall length of 8.25 inches. You have a blade thickness of 0.12, which is pretty thin for a knife this size. Handle thickness, also pretty thin for a knife this size, 0.47 inches, according to uh, my measurements. And a weight of 3.73 ounces on my scale for the non-milled version. The milled version is supposed to be about 3.6, so it's not a huge weight difference to get the uh, the milled version. Size comparisons. Move our Protect box aside here and uh, bring out some stuff. We have your... <clears throat> let's just grab this one since it's the one I reached for. We have your Spyderco Manix 2. Pretty similar in overall length to that. We'll do the PM2 as well. Yeah, just a, it's a pretty similar in overall length. It's 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 a, it's a pretty good just kind of mid-size EDC size. And oh, lastly, we will do um kind of an odd one, but it's one that I have here and it's also a button lock, so I wanted to wanted to bring it out cuz we're going to use it later. This is the CRKT Titac 2. Yeah, and so you can see it's it's a pretty good just kind of mid-sizey EDC sort of size. Uh, as far as the blade goes, um, pretty good. I really love the blade shape. It's just a simple drop point. Nothing to nothing to complain about there. Very high flat grind, pretty thin blade stock. A bit thick behind the edge, and I have not gone back to watch my own video, but I think I said this about the prototype as well. About 30 thousandths behind the edge, so uh, it's not the thinnest thing behind the edge. I think I measured it like 28 down here up to like 30, you know, more towards the tip. Um but it is razor, razor, razor sharp out of the box. They did a good job with that. My Protec SBR is the same way. I think that's just kind of a thing that they do. I'll bring that out as well. Um, yeah, it, it's. I think that's just a Protec thing. They're a little thicker behind the edge. But you know what? They do, they, they do hold up. 
and, and it's it's so sharp it does cut really well i haven't done a whole lot of cutting with this one uh but i did a whole lot with the prototype and it still handled everything pretty well um not a huge complaint there but yeah but just a little thing but i do really love the blade shape really good tip on it it's definitely a user for absolutely sure I don't know if you want to pay $240 for a user, but, um, you know, I do sometimes. Uh, but it's a, it's, it's a really, really good user blade shape. Um, as far as the ergonomics go, it, they're, they're really, 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 really good. Um, you have definitely all four fingers when you're not choked up. Even more room when you do. Very generous finger trail to choke up with. Uh, this pocket clip, I guess I can sort of kind of tell that it's there, but it's it's definitely not what I would call a hot spot, and especially not when you choke up. You can't feel it at all. Really hard to complain about. And the finish on this also is, uh, yes, it is aluminum, but it's not like super slick. It's got a little, I'm sure you can hear it on my super dry skin, but yeah, it's got a little bit. Um it's got a little bit. So it's got a little bit of traction there. I do like that. The milled one has even more traction. And I will say, before anybody asks, uh, how does this finish hold up? Uh, the one I get, again, this was the prototype. It had a couple dings on it when I got it. Um, the only additional dings that I've given it were that, and I know what that came from. That was from something else in my pocket with it. Um, I don't know if you can even see it. A couple little scratches there it seems to hold up pretty well and this sbr that i showed you earlier is one of their autos um i don't carry it outside the house as i said because it's a felony but <laughs> but um i carry it around the house all the time i do carry it a whole lot and other than this this bit of my pocket that's still in the pocket clip um you can see it's held up really really well this definitely has some carry time on it and i haven't had a problem I, I think it's a pretty solid carry. It is aluminum. It is going to scratch. I'm not going to tell you. It's not going to scratch. It is going to scratch. I, absolutely. Almost 100% for sure. It is going to scratch up. But uh, I, I think it's actually pretty, pretty strong. I really wouldn't worry about it looking beat up after a week or anything like that, I guess is what I'm getting at. Uh, I think it's a, a pretty good finish. Uh, as far as the uh, carry goes, nice deep carry clip, as I said, but you're still going to have a bit sticking out that's all right. It's not ridiculous. I don't really have a problem with it. It does give you something to grab a hold of if, that, if that's something you carry about. And again, the flush screws are really, really nice. Uh, you are going to notice the flipper tab. It's not egregious. It's not horrible, but you are going to notice that flipper tab for sure. Um, it, it, they do a good job of chamfering it and stuff. Definitely the prototype is, uh, I mean, sorry, the uh, production one is smoother than the prototype. So they have they have improved that a little bit. It's, it seems to be knocked off a little bit more around the edges. So that that's going to be good. Um, it doesn't like scratch up your fingers or anything, but you're going to know it's there. Uh, I would just carry this with nothing else in that pocket uh, because uh, the aluminum might get dinged up, and you have a little bit of pocket pecker there. That's just me. Action is just it's so good. I'm going to give it the golf clap. Uh, the prototype was great, and I raved about the action of the prototype in the review. I've raved about it in live videos since. Uh, the production one's better. I, it doesn't have a detent as such. I know, not your conventional detent with a button lock, but it's it's even better. If I had one, one minor little flaw with it, the uh, prototype is just, it wasn't quite snappy enough. Yeah, this is fixed that. No matter how you open it, push button, light switch, whatever, and then you push you push that button and it's closed. It's it is addicting. It is very 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 addicting. Um I have not handled many of Protex other of their own brand, you know, um uh manuals. Uh but if they're all this good, wow! I, I want I want more Protex. I, I think a lot of it is this is a pretty big pretty big blade. Um, that's probably a good chunk of it. But man, this is so smooth. Running on bearings, like I said, and it's just oh, it's so good. I I can't stop fiddling with this thing, um, and that's probably the reason why I carry the Mordax so much. Is it's just it's just so much fun to play with. It's 
and that's kind of my my conclusion this is it's a great freaking knife i i don't i haven't watched every i know that since they uh people who pre-ordered are just getting them. I know there's been a few other recent YouTube reviews. I have not watched any of the recent ones, but I know that all of us rave about the prototypes and I know these are even better than the prototype. So I guess the part of the reason why I'm doing this video is, uh, even though I raved about it in my original video, I don't think I did it justice. It's the, it's even better in production. It looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit cleaner and that action is it's just even better so i would i would highly recommend as they said in uh ferris bueller uh if you have the means i highly recommend one uh, starting at 240 bucks uh, they are not cheap i think this one's 250 with the blue but go check it out the link is down below do it quick i don't know how many they have in stock and uh i hope you guys have enjoyed this i've been brian have a good one